Hi children, in this video we will learn class 6 general science chapter 2 knowing about plants. Now let us see. A plant shows two systems, one is root system that grows into soil, another system is shoot system. Here a three dimensional picture of a plant we will observe. Here the lower part of the plant that grows into soil is called root system. These roots usually grow into soil, positively geotropical. They help in the absorption of water and nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, etc. The main root gives lateral roots. Now let us see types of root system. The first one is tap root system and the second one is known as fibrous root system. First the tap root system. The tap root system that contains the major primary root and the lateral root arises from this tap root system and fibrous roots. This fibrous root system shows a bunch of roots. Now let us see how the seeds are germinating. It takes seeds and adds or sprinkles some water on the soil and sow them. After few days you will observe these sprouts. In the picture you can see the cotyledons. These are the first leaves of plant. These are the seedlings we will observe in the picture. Now let us see the water absorption by root. A carrot was taken into a beaker and pour some water. And now add few drops of blue ink into the water that present inside the beaker. Leave the carrot for two or three days, cut it into half. You can observe blue color inside the carrot. That means water moving upwards in the carrot. The next is modifications of root. Carrot, garlic, radish are the examples of modifications of roots. They store food inside the roots. So they are called storage roots. Another example banyan tree for modification of root. And here the prop roots in sugar cane we will observe. And these are the respiratory roots present in mangrove plants. The next is stem. The stem is a part of the plant above the ground. The main axis we will observe in the picture is known as stem. It contains stem, leaves, fruits, flowers and it grows above the soil. Nodes are the parts of stem where the leaf arises. The place between the two successive nodes is called internode and a bird that arises in the axilla is called axillary bird and the bird at the terminal area that arises is known as terminal bird. And here we will see conduction of water. Now take any twig of a plant and keep inside the bottle and add some color to the water. Now cut it with the help of a sharp blade and observe under the microscope. You can see the internal part are red in color. Functions of stem. It supports branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. Stem transports water and minerals. 
stem transports food from leaves to other parts stem stores food as in sugar cane some of the modifications of stem we will see here ginger garlic turmeric or the examples of stem modifications they bulge in size due to the storage of food materials now we will see the structure of leaf this is the most important organ in the plant it helps in the preparation of food and we will see the structure here the leaf that attached to the plant is called stem it attached to the stem with the help of petiole and the wild part of the leaf is called leaf lamina the structures inside the leaf are called veins what is venation the arrangement of veins and veinlets in the leaf is called venation and the spread or arrangement of veins are two types one is reticulate venation another one is parallel venation first let us see what is reticulate venation A lamina with midvein and veinlets in are arranged in net or web like structure on both sides of midrib in reticulate venation and now parallel venation veins are parallel to one another plants with two cotyledons in seed are called dicot plants these dicots usually show reticulate venation in leaves and tap root system plants with one cotyledon in seed are called monocot plants example corn these monocots usually show parallel venation in leaves and fibrous root system lower side of leaf contains small pore like structures called stomata these stomata can be easily seen under the compound microscope these are bean shaped pot that you can see in the leaves like they act as nose the stomata that absorbs carbon dioxide and releases oxygen this is called exchange of gases now let us see transpiration excess amount of water is removed from plant body in the form of vapor is called transpiration and to understand the concept first let us take a potted plant and now enclose a leaf or a branch of a plant with a polythene bag and tie its mouth you can observe water droplets inside the polythene bag functions of leaf helps in respiration carry out photosynthesis prepares food by photosynthesis and it removes excess amount of water from the plant body so the leaf is called food factory of plant because it prepares food now the flower This is the most important part of the plant. It has the colorful pods called petals. These petals help to attract insects for pollination. Pollination means transfer of pollen grains onto the stigma. to produce fruits 
Now let us see what is puttikallu. It's a traditional food of Godavari district. It is prepared or steamed like uh, idli. It is also taken with uh, chutney. Leaves of jackfruit tree are used in its preparation. Collect a plant and observe its part like roots, stem, leaves and flowers. Note down the important points in your notebook. You can use textbook, internet or any source or you can ask your teacher for the information. Collect different types of leaves and prepare a note on their shapes, size and venation. By doing this, you will know the different shapes and sizes of leaves and the type of venation in the leaves. Observe different colors and fragrance of flowers and write your feelings. Flowers are the major parts for reproduction. Visit NCM Classroom on YouTube for more videos.